interpreting. We're on. Pull up my questions. Okay. All right. What, sir, is your full name? Christopher James Arnold. Okay. And how do you spell Christopher? That's with a K. Okay. That's the proper way to spell it. <laughs> nice. I had a feeling you would say that because your counterpart just said the same thing. Exactly. How's that with a K and a PH? That is a K and a PH. Gotcha. No F in there. No. Okay. No. Or we don't do the weird things. Okay. Right that's there. good. That's good. No German blood or anything. That's right. Exactly. Uh, how many years have you been coaching Coca-Cola baseball? This is my fifth year with Coke. Okay, fifth all, year. With all Coke. under Coach Young. Excellent. Where were you born? City, state. I was born in Endwell, New York. Can you spell that for me? Yeah. E N D W E L L. What's that near? Like? Uh, Binghamton. Binghamton. Yep, just with... over the Pennsylvania border. Okay. Very good. Um, one of my favorite questions right here. What were your childhood nicknames? Childhood nicknames. All right, so I had Junior, uh-huh. and that, became, that was because my dad was a chief. Mm-hmm. There was an old commercial for Chef Boyardee, and they spelled uh-huh. chiefs wrong, and they spelled it like chefs. Uh-huh. And I had a basketball coach that was like, well, wasn't your dad a chief? Uh-huh. And it just stuck, and he's like, well, you're the junior chief. So they always called me junior. So that got shortened. So always. junior chief got shortened to just junior. junior. Just junior. <laughs> From chef to chief to junior chief to yep. junior. And junior and Arnie. That's those, a, those are the big ones. That's a beautiful. Tr- uh, yeah, I know. It was a long, long yeah, <laughs> progression. I love that, dude. No, that's awesome. Um, where did you go to college? Where I went to East Carolina. Okay. I played golf for the first year. Nice. And, uh, yeah, that was it. Very good. So you were a high school golfer as well? I was. I played football, basketball, baseball, golf. I did cool. all four seasons. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, what's your current job? Uh, middle school education at Stokes. What do you teach? Math, what? science, and social studies. Okay. Um, outside of coaching Little League Baseball, what are some of your hobbies slash interests? So I play golf. Mm-hmm. That's, that's probably the biggest one. Um, outside of Coca-Cola. Well, I coach Welcome, too. Okay. So I, I do all that. Uh-huh. Uh, Some other train, ways you like to kill your time. Training 5Ks. Uh-huh. And that's about it. Cool. Um, what are your favorite sports teams, college and or pro? All right. So college is Tar Heels. Uh-huh. Big, big UNC fan. I know you love that. Yeah, man. You and Coach Chris both, <laughs> man. You're killing me. Um, but professional Yankees. Uh-huh. Miami Heat. Minnesota Vikings. Dude, I give me some on the Heat, man. That's right. Because right. everybody's a See, heat. But there's been, some heat haters out there. I've been loving that since Tim Hardaway. Yeah. So, I mean, I so still, you, you I go still back. have my old school Hardaway jersey. Yeah. So, I got, you know. Dude, you know what my favorite thing is? Is to watch Ray Allen ice a oh, game. When he goes to the free, free throw line, that just that's beautiful. just, it is a thing of beauty. Is. That dude is ice. Love that, man. There's never been anybody like Jesus him. Jesus Shuttlesworth. Shuttleworth. <laughs> that's He's right. man. I love it. Who is your favorite all-time athlete? Derek Jeter. Jeter. Who is your – and this is one of my favorite questions right here because I like asking coaches this. Who's your favorite coach? My favorite coach of all time? Of all time. You know, this is this is going to sound funny because I'm a Tar Heel fan. Yeah. It's actually Coach K. Really? He is he is by far my my most favorite coach. That's a mad respect just, right there. He's unbelievable. There's nobody that makes a halftime adjustment better than him. He, he's unreal. He's, he's unreal. unreal. I, I, I would love to just listen to him for yeah. 20 minutes. Dude, he, one, one team is out there in the first half. And then a completely different team comes back out. He knows how to pinpoint what's wrong and, uh, and get it right behind in the middle him, of the game. Billy Martin. Okay. The Yankees, the Yankees are great. Right. Um, if you could have one major league at bat, what song would you want to play on the loudspeakers as you walk to the plate? That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go with, um, what is it? It's the one by Lupe Fiasco. Lupe Fiasco? Yeah, there's a song. I'll, I'll pull it up in a second. Okay. Lupe Fiasco. Yeah. The show goes on. The show goes the on. Like... You would, And you would take your time getting to the plate, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Maybe it, like it, a... It would be, basically be this part. Oh, I like it. The show goes on. Oh, that yeah. describes that describes yeah. Arnie right there, man. Optim, optimism, right? That's right. Half uh, glass, half full. That's right. Uh, what is your favorite movie of all time? Feel the dreams. Oh, dude. Feel the Talk dreams. to me, man. It. Talk then, to me. Go feel the dreams in the Beggar Vance. Go yeah, the man. Vance. I love that movie too. Yeah. When he has the opportunity to cheat and he doesn't. It's beautiful. It's great. Find your authentic swing. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, what's your favorite restaurant in Greenville? Salsaritas. Salsaritas. Okay. You like some Mexican food. What's the coolest place you've ever visited? 
Uh, I went to Jamaica for my for my honeymoon. Where yep. were you? In the uh, grill or? We went to yep, right in the grill. You say that um, swept away. A couple okay. Swept away. Yeah. Um, that was awesome. And then when I was ten, I went to Maui. Nice. And that was that was incredible. As well. These tropical places are awesome. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you. Um, if you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? Superpower. Mm-hmm. Anything. I mean, you can make up a superpower. Shoot. Coach Chris said his would be uh, intelligence, and he said, oh, wait a minute, I've already got that. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with teleportation. Okay. Just be be wherever I wanted to be a snap of a finger. I like that. You could just get beamed over. Exactly. Just beam me up. <laughs> okay, now this you can think about this as a coach or just, you know, as a person, whatever. What's one of your favorite all-time quotes? Favorite all-time quotes. Mm-hmm. The only pressure in life is that what you put on yourself? That's all. Who said that? That's by Hank Keeney. He's a professional golf. Nice, yeah. good. St- now he's the he's yeah. the swing master, right? Uh, no, he's he's one of the ones that led the tour in driving distance for a couple of years. Okay. Um, I actually played with him in a pro am event. Wow. And um, we were coming down to the last couple of holes, and we were getting close to actually winning our flight. And uh, that's he just said it just randomly. He just said it to you. So you didn't read it anywhere. He it. said it while yeah, you're playing just, with. Didn't him. even think about it. He's like, man. The pressure in life is that what you put on yourself? And I was like, <laughs> wrote it down in my bill, my cab, and I had it written down. I had it all. I love that one. And uh, sweet. Will Smith said one that was, I can't remember exactly how it was, but it went some along the lines of like, people spend way too much money to buy things that they don't need to impress people that they don't like or something something along those lines. I just think that's yeah. that's just interesting because you know, a lot of people are all about you the don't show. Need to, but, don't need to buy your friends. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. looking for that authentic relationship. So. I like it. Okay, then the last two, already. Uh, finish these sentences. This year's Coca-Cola baseball team is? I'm going to just go with incredible. <clears throat> just, I think uh, we just have, we have such a great group that regardless of, you know, the, the wins or the losses or the, the fun and the struggle, it's just, just an incredible year overall. I agree, 100%. Um, and then last one, my favorite thing about coaching Little League baseball is? The families. Just love all the connections. I mean, when I when I was started in Greenville in, in 2005 and went through school and stuff like that, obviously you have your friends and stuff like that. But once I got done with school, it was kind of, you're kind of at a loss. You lose all those friends, and you know you're looking for something to kind of make the connection and just knowing everybody through there and walking through town and being like, "Yep, you your son plays mm-hmm. on this team, or your your kid plays on this team, or I'll yep. coach that kid and stuff like that." So it's yep. yeah, definitely the family connections. It's a doubt. it's a it's one big family, not just exactly. coach, but little league baseball, which yep. is really a cool thing. 16, 16 teams, twelve kids a team. It's a lot. Yep. It's a lot well, of people to a lot of kids. Yeah, a lot of passion, awesome. man. That's right. So thanks for what you do, brother. I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Have a good practice, All man. Right. Yep. Thanks, thanks for having me. Yes, sir. I'll have uh, my agent call you. That's fine. Yep. You can have him send me the invoice. Gotcha.